two gunshots. The first misses, the second does not. Bleeding and collapsing onto the ground, Shinzo Abe had been making a speech in Nara near Kyoto. I heard he was having something like a toy, it looked like a bazooka, and then I heard a big noise. The country's public broadcaster was showing the event live when the shots were fired. Witnesses say they saw a man wearing a grey T-shirt stepping back before firing for a second time. He didn't run away after shooting, he was just staying there. Security rushes to tackle the man as bystanders dash to their former leader. Police urge them to stay back, but crowds continue to converge. Within minutes, Abe is airlifted to hospital. Holding back tears, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida called the shooting a heinous act. It is barbaric and malicious and it cannot be tolerated. We will do everything we can. I would like to use the most extreme words available to condemn this act. 41-year-old local was arrested at the scene. Reportedly a former member of the Japanese Navy, Tetsuya Yamagami, told police he was dissatisfied with Abe and intended to kill him. This kind of barbaric act is not acceptable and we firmly condemn it. Police say they seized gun-like equipment from the suspect, which witnesses say looked handmade. I didn't expect anything like this would happen in Japan. I'm shocked. He worked very hard as Prime Minister for a long time. I'm so shocked. Still a powerhouse in the largest faction of the country's ruling party, Abe had been speaking at a campaign event, urging voters to support his party in parliamentary elections this Sunday. As Japan's longest-serving Prime Minister, world leaders are sending messages of support. Australia's Prime Minister saying his thoughts were with Abe's family and the people of Japan. Leaders of New Zealand and India also sharing their well wishes. All election campaigns have been suspended for now, while police investigate how the shooter got hold of a gun. The Prime Minister of Japan. Seven decades after the horrors of World War II, Shinzo Abe became the first Japanese leader to address Australia's parliament. We will never let the horrors of the past centuries' history repeat themselves. In 2018, he landed in Darwin, another first for a Japanese leader, 76 years after bombs fell on the northern capital. It's an important time of reconciliation. Shinzo Abe was first elected in 2006. Come on! That tenure only lasted a year, before an unexpected comeback in 2012. The conservative nationalist sought to reassert Japan's presence on the world stage, while reshaping the relationship with China and taking a hard line on North Korea. Former Prime Minister Tony Abbott found a firm friend in Abe, the pair inking a trade deal. The relationship surviving the rejection of Japan's pitch to build Australia's new submarine fleet. I feel numbed at this shocking, truly shocking attack. Other former PMs expressing their shock. Scott Morrison calling him a great and wise friend of Australia. Malcolm Turnbull praising the former PM as one of the great leaders of our times. While Kevin Rudd tweeted, an attack on any democratically elected political leader is an attack on supporters of democracy. It was Shinzo Abe that eventually welcomed Australia back into the Quad, the partnership involving Australia, Japan, India and the United States. It's since become one of Australia's most significant regional partnerships. Tom Lowry, ABC News, Canberra. Well, I'm standing only a couple of hundred metres from where the former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was shot just before midday today during a campaign election rally. And news came through just a few moments ago, uh, the tragic news that the former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had died. It's been a day of people here desperately trying to get information, any information they could about the Prime Minister, who's the former Prime Minister, who's really a giant of Japanese politics. It didn't sound good to begin with. We heard that he was showing no vitals and unresponsive at the scene. He was rushed to hospital. 
Uh, the current Prime Minister, uh, Fumio Kishida, described his condition as grave and the hospital said he was critical and doing everything they possibly could to save his life. Uh, but unfortunately, as I just said, uh, he has now succumbed to his wounds and uh, Shinzo Abe is now dead, according to local media reports that are coming through quite thick and fast. Now, this will rattle Japan. It is a peaceful country. It's regarded as a safe country. There's really not much gun violence here at all. It's usually something just isolated to the criminal underworld. And gun laws here are very, very restrictive just for the police, the military, and you know, hunters can get them, but it's very, very strict uh, supervision and very hard to get a license. So this has really rattled a country, uh, at, not just because uh, that this is such a senior figure of Japan, but because it is usually regarded as such a peaceful and safe country.